All right, so what kind of a computer do you have? In this video, we're going to look at how to see your computer's properties. Uh, so this will tell you like what kind of computer you're using, how much memory or RAM your computer has, what kind of operating system you're running, how much storage or how much, how big is your hard disk drive or your solid state drive. Um, so uh, you may need to do one more, than, more than one screenshot to capture all this information. First thing you want to do is go down to the Start button, and then come over here to my com or to your computer, and then right-click it and choose Properties. Alternatively, I think if you're here in Windows Ex Explorer, where did it go? There's Windows Explorer. Let's see what we got in Windows Explorer. Is my computer here? No, it's not. I thought maybe it was in here. Ah, there it is. Computer, right click that and I can choose properties there. It takes me to the same place. So I'm going to actually just do it this way. Start, right click my computer, choose properties. It takes me to the same place. And uh, here I can see, hey, I'm running Windows 7 Enterprise, which is my operating system. And I have a 64-bit operating system. So in the class lectures, if you've been in class or if you've been watching those because you're in the online class, we talk about uh, different amounts of bits. A single bit is a single zero and one. So a 64-bit operating system means that this operating system allows the CPU to process 64 bits at one time. Uh, old operating systems could only process 32 bits at one time. So we're kind of in a transition right now, going from 32-bit operating systems and software that's written to take advantage of 64-bit uh, operating systems. We're going from 32 to 64. So you're starting to see 64-bit operating systems and software being written to take advantage of that. 64-bit uh, operating systems will still play software that's written for 32-bit operating systems, uh, generally speaking. Um, that's called backwards compatibility. So I've got a 64-bit operating system. And I believe uh, this would be something to ask Google, but I believe your CPU has to be built and able in a, in, and, and capable of um, running a 64-bit operating system. So that's one screenshot I'd want to take here. Windows 7, 64 bits, and I have four gigabytes of RAM, which really isn't all that much these days. And my CPU is running at uh, 1.87 gigahertz, so this computer is kind of uh, getting old. Time for a new one. And there's a Windows Experience Index, whatever the heck that is. I don't know. You could click the link to find out about it. So I'm going to get my faithful old snipping tool, tool, snipping tool, and I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And I'm going to save that. And that would be one image. Cancel. I will save it, actually. Put it on my desktop. And properties and properties. And now I want to see what kind of a hard drive I've got. Um, I'm just going to look here real quick. Advanced system settings. Performance information and tools down here at the bottom. Processor memory. It's got some kind of a rating system here. I'm not interested in that. Alright, so the next thing is I'm going to uh, go back to Windows Explorer. So I could right click, start, and choose Open Windows Explorer or Explore or something like that. And now I see all my drives over here. So my computer has a C drive, an E drive, a G drive, and then some network drives that are mapped. So those are hard drives I could access on the network there. So I could right click any of these drives and I could say, hey, what are the properties on those drives? And here it tells me something pretty cool. If this is a 108 gigabyte hard drive, actually shows 116 gigabytes there. And then capacity, oh, that's free space. That's how much free space I have. It's actually 150 or 160 gigabyte hard drive, right? It says 150 there, 159 there. And I've used uh, 40, 40 gigabytes. I've got 100 of free space. And you can see a little pie diagram there of my free space. So I want to take a screenshot of that. And I'll just call that prop two. So properties two. Make sure that's on my desktop. And that's all I need to really do to kind of 
see the main properties of my computer. So I'll come back here to Blackboard, click on this assignment, click Browse My Computer for the files, go to my desktop, scroll down, and there's property and property two. So I go first property, open, and then I could also uh, browse my computer for one more file. Choose property two, open. You can see both those files are waiting there to be attached. And uh, then I'll hit submit. So that's how you do this assignment.